You might be seeing more people taking an afternoon stroll around the neighborhood, kind of taking a break right from self quarantine. And now communities are coming up with some really cool ways to put a smile on their neighbors faces. Kim Powell joining us live in Phoenix tonight where one neighborhood is chalking up some of the some of the driveways. What are some of the cool messages out there you've seen today, Kim? Oh, I've seen a ton. Several neighborhoods across Arizona held this Chalk the Walk event over the weekend. You can see this one right here, a positivity message. It says, be calm, choose happy, and spread love. Now, not only is this fun for the kids, it helps the adults, too. Sidewalk Chalk. Spread a little love. Hearts, flowers, and ladybugs. I try to make things fun and exciting, so I put, like, the life cycle of the ladybug for kids to come walk by. Messages of hope and important reminders. It's all part of the quarantine connection. As far as adults go, I try to brighten up their day with a little bit of humor. Um, here we have some Wu-Tang graffiti, but it's actually uh, all abbreviations for what to do to protect yourself and your loved ones. A simple thing like sidewalk chalk is being used to brighten people's days as they escape the four walls of their home isolation, even just for a few minutes. We can all fall and hide under the pressure of what's going on and be afraid, or we can decide, all right, you know what, I can't control everything and this is what I can control, and part of that control is me spreading a little cheer. And neighbors in Ahwatukee are placing teddy bears on their porches for kids to count on their evening walks with their family. Either on the windows or somewhere outside for the kids to drive around in the cars and they can find the bears as a social distancing game. The bear hunt and chalk art are efforts many are sharing on social media to get through this uncertain time with a little bit of hope. I am optimistic that we are going to get through this. Um, However, I think that we all need to do our part to get through it. Now, there are other ways communities are stepping up, like the Gateway Church of Nazarene and Mesa. They're asking people to sing Amazing Grace outside of their windows every day at noon, starting tomorrow. Reporting live in Phoenix, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.